Planning your gaming PC build, choosing your hardware so you want to build your very own gaming PC, one that will conquer, blow away any console's gaming performance, shoot RGB lighting like there's no tomorrow, but you're not quite sure how to start. Well, this is the very first step in building your very own gaming PC, that is actually choosing the right hardware, that's compatible, fits within your budget and accomplishes the performance goals you have. Choose your budget without getting too complicated to start, the first step here would be to actually choose a budget, what do you actually have to spend? If you're wondering, him, but how much do I have to spend, well that's a loaded question and I will tell you why. What are you building your PC for? So you have how much you can spend, or an idea of what you can spend and are trying to determine if it's the right amount for what your goals are. The next step is to really ask yourself, is this a PC that's going to mainly play Fortnite maxed out on a standard 1080p monitor, then the $700 PC build may be all you need. Or, to really be certain, start off by searching online for benchmarks of individuals who have benchmarked the games or have played the game on the specific graphics card and CPU combinations to get a gist of what performance to expect. Or if you do more than game and say, edit a lot of videos and render them, or stream live while gaming, then you may need a more hefty CPU with more cores that can keep up. Again, do some search for benchmarks and suggestions. Let's get really into this and start with each piece of hardware, to give you a full overview. Mind you this gets a bit more into what you may need to know, but hey why not get your geek on and dive right on in. After all, investing in a gaming PC isn't necessarily cheap for most of us, so we might as well know how it all works in unison. When you decide to build a gaming PC, one of the very first things you must decide on is which processor, CPU you're going to purchase. That's the big question, how to choose a processor. There are many factors that may be your deciding point when choosing a specific processor and my recommendation would be to choose exactly which processor you want before choosing other hardware parts, such as what motherboard you'll need. This is because in order to choose a motherboard you must know the socket type, brand of the processor you choose, in order to purchase RAM you must know what your motherboard supports and so on. The number one step when buying any sort of computer hardware is to set aside what your budget is, obvious right? But this will automatically exclude or include all the processes available for you to buy. Most hardware sites will have some sort of menu option to sort by price, so this will make finding that right processor that much easier. Step 2. What games do you want to play? You are building a gaming PC to play games, so before you choose your CPU do some research, and before you research a CPU write a list of the games you currently play and what games you will want to play now or in the upcoming future. Check the minimum system requirements and ask yourself if you want to play your games at the highest settings, or if you would be fine with medium, lower settings. There are a few sites you could compare CPU benchmarks against one another, or if you're on a PC you could check out the system requirements lab, where you can determine whether you are able to run a certain game on your current PC giving you an idea of what you may want. Check the minimum, recommended requirements against the operating frequencies and cores of all of the available processes and use this to narrow down your choices further. If you are too lazy and don't like reading too many benchmark numbers, well no fret, that's what this video is for. If the game you're interested isn't located there, then you can always search on YouTube for gaming benchmarks using specific CPU playing specific games, which will give you a general idea of what sort of performance people are getting using that specific hardware on that specific game. You should look for things like what frames per second, FPS, the game is getting, at what resolution the game is being played at and at what graphics settings. Step 3. Which brand? This is where choosing a gaming processor can get a little foggy and just like any business some of this can fall back to competition. The two main contenders in the desktop computer processor world right now are AMD and Intel. You can base your decision on the brand by primarily using the first two factors discussed previously, budget and what games you want to play and then try to research reviews, benchmarks for the games you want to play to see how certain processes perform. A lot of reputable hardware retailers will have customer reviews for the more popular processor products so take a look at those, check out hardware forums, tell them what games you want to play and your budget, this can also reassure your decision. Final words, for choosing your gaming PC processor, whether you are building your first PC, or you have built many it is always a good idea to refresh your knowledge by keeping up with the current trends in computer hardware so that you can choose the best choices for you. After all, gaming PCs have the most individualized and unique choices when it comes to choosing the hardware you want to game on, so you want to get the best of the best, for you.
Choosing a CPU may seem intimidating, but I assure you that if you look around you'll most likely be able to settle on what will work for you without a problem. And if all else fails, simply drop us a message here at Orbital Illusions and we'll help you out.